It's 7.15 and we just arrived at Modesto Volkswagen in California, of course. And we are picking up this Passat that's gonna be going to the auction in Tracy. Now, this is the only dealership that we've came across that lets, lets us pick up vehicles at 7 a.m. It's 723. It's 41 degrees out here. And he's on his last strap. Once he's finished, we will head out to Tracy. It's 7.55, we stopped in Ripon. I have a receipt. We stopped in Ripon to put fuel and um, they gave us a free coffee, which is nice. I already have the gate passes for the two vehicles at Odessa. Now I'm gonna go on car action auction track and look for their locations, get ready so that once we arrive, we can quickly pick up the vehicles. This is the car auction track locator, and it's very convenient. It already has um, our, our preference is Odessa, Golden Gate. And what you do is you put in the VIN number there, and it will go ahead and track the, the vehicle. So let me go ahead and do that. I put in the VIN number, and now it's telling me the vehicle is in the sale lane Q3. So, and then if I click on that, it'll show me exactly where the vehicle is. And there it is. So very, very convenient. If you pick up homes, vehicles from auctions, most likely the auction facility will have something like auction track. It's 8.06 and we're on the 120 out of Manteca. We just arrived at and Tracy just unloaded the vehicle and it's 8:33. So we drop this off we're gonna go ahead and pick up two load them up and we will be off to budget Avis in Oakland we're searching a lot for a Subaru and I think it's gonna be right here. We use the tracker. And this is a Subaru here. We're looking for a cross track. I think this is the vehicle. Oh, I'm the one with the paperwork. And we need 4824. Okay. 4824. This is our car. So we're picking up one other vehicle. So we're gonna use this car to look for the next one. Now we're looking for a black Hyundai Palisade. I'm not sure what that is. There's a Hyundai. And it's black. Palisade sounds like an SUV. So we quickly found the second vehicle. Is this smaller? That one's smaller. So I'll meet you outside. I'll make sure it's And 4158, this is our vehicle. He always sticks around to make sure it starts because he does have the jumpers. And find the key. Yep, we're good. It's 8.53, we made it back to the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and take photos, jot down any issues, 
Meanwhile, he's going to start loading up the vehicles. and he just put on the last strap the cone is put away the shocks are put away and looks like we're ready to head out we're gonna go ahead and go to Oakland to the airport and drop these two off at Hertz Avis it's 9:23. we're on the Altamont it's nice and sunny here and with all the recent rain it's night it's very green It's 10.03 and we just drive to Budget Avis in at the Oakland Airport to go ahead and um, deliver these two vehicles. It's 10.37. We just arrived at a recovery location in Oakland. We have an 11.40 appointment. So he's went ahead and he checked in and he's just, we're just waiting for the vehicles to be brought out. Uh, once they're brought out, of course, we'll go ahead and load them, strap them down, and both of these vehicles will be going to Edessa and Tracy. Now, of course, we are early, so we may have to wait a bit, hopefully not too long. While we wait for the vehicles, he's, going, he's taking out his straps, getting them ready.
Both vehicles are loaded and strapped down and it's 11.01. Like I said before, our appointment wasn't until 11.40, but he was able to pull the vehicles out for us. Now he put one on the very top and one in the rear. We're going to another location and picking up another vehicle, which at that time he'll move this vehicle up to the middle position and put the next vehicle in the rear. He does this for stability. It's 11.50, we're in Walnut Creek. As I went in to get the Dodge Ringo, he went ahead and he moved this Honda to the middle position. Then when I arrived with the Dodge, then I was able to go ahead and pull it onto the trailer. Now all three of these vehicles, no, sorry. <laughs> the two vehicles in the front, the two, the two Hondas, will be going to Odessa and Tracy. And then the Dodge Durango will be going to a Carlotta in Stockton. So once we get to Odessa, we're going to have to um, unload and reload the Durango. And once we deliver this to the car lot in Stockton, we'll be finished for the day. Now I already wrote up all the issues with the vehicle, but until now I didn't notice that dent there. So I'm going to go back and write that on the paperwork. And it looks like he's done strapping. He always again straps all four wheels just to make sure that they're nice and safe. And we are gonna head out to Tracy. It's 11.48 and we just made it back to Odessa and Tracy. And as you can tell, it's very sunny. Deliver the two Hondas, the white car and the blue one and reload the Dodge Durango because this one is going to Stockton. delivered to Dodge Durango to an s, s auto sales here in Stockton which was quite convenient considering we live in Stockton so he's gonna go ahead and put the straps away then we will head out to the storage yard drop off the trailer and we will be finished <laughs> 